I always enjoyed helping people. As much of a pun that sounds like, it's true. I uh, started out being a lifeguard. In doing that, learned CPR, first aid, was kind of there when I needed to be. I think one of the huge turning points uh, was in my high school when we had a high school shooting. The kid was shot and I was, immediate reaction was to respond. So I was the first one there, performed CPR until EMS arrived. So that I think was a big turning point for me wanting to pursue medicine. So I grew up in Charleston, West Virginia. Went to West Virginia University for undergraduate where I studied exercise physiology. Always had a passion for health and wellness and then did my med school at the osteopathic school in Lewisburg, West Virginia. So I do a very traditional general practice. I have more women than men in my practice, but I definitely do both. I have people ages 16 to 102. I do everything from just yearly physicals, checkups, wellness, sports physicals, to diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, everything. Number one, I hope they feel comfortable with me. I hope they feel that they were heard. I hope they feel that, okay, this is someone I can trust. This is someone I can build a relationship and someone I can come to when I'm feeling good and when I need help. So my first goal when a person walks in the door is to address any acute concerns they have. Once those are taken care of, then the goal or focus would switch to prevention and wellness. It is one of my goals or one of my big spiels is to keep my patients well enough they don't need me, if that makes sense. So I'm a big proponent of coming in every year just for a general physical. I use health and wellness and preventative medicine almost as an analogy to going in and getting your state inspection to your car. Even if everything's fine, you go in once a year to get it checked out. I'll tell patients, come in, let's have your routine physical. If there's something going on, maybe we can find it before the check engine light comes on and address it before there's a problem. So to me, that's a very important component of health and wellness. I guess it really depends on what's important to the patient. Me, if I would say I'm the patient, I wanna find someone who is going to take my health care very seriously. I want someone who's gonna take the time to listen. I want someone that if I need extra five, an extra five minutes is gonna say, dang it, I know I'm a few minutes behind, but she needs me now. I want someone that's convenient to my home, my location. I want someone who's gonna be readily accessible, either via phone or email. So that's what I would look for. So I guess that's what I feel people would expect of me or expect when they're looking for a provider. I'm a normal person with a medical degree. I know it's hard coming to the doctor. I know sometimes it's hard opening up. I know sometimes it's scary. However, I want people to know that I'm there to help them. I wanna be an advocate. I wanna help them guide their health in the direction they wanna go and support those decisions. I'm never gonna make any, anyone do anything they don't wanna do. Being on the water. I always say the beach is happy when I come see it. So I have three kids, I'm very happily married. I enjoy spending time with my family. Whenever the weather cooperates, uh, we enjoy going to the beach, being on the boat, being in the sand. I love sports, activities, paddle boarding, going to kids' ball games. So I enjoy being active.